In Charlotte this morning, a deep sense of loss following one of the worst attacks on law enforcement in recent memory. And of course, we got shots fired. A shootout taking the lives of four law enforcement officers and leaving four others wounded. Overnight, Charlotte Mecklenburg's police chief announcing one of his own officers, Joshua Iyer, died as a result of that attack, leaving behind a wife and three-year-old son. We'll always be indebted to Officer Iyer for his bravery and his sacrifice for this profession. Police say the shooting erupted outside of this home, captured in chilling detail on a live stream. Members of the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force attempting to serve a warrant on a convicted felon wanted for firearms possession quickly found themselves taking on heavy gunfire. Officers returned gunfire and struck the victim who was later pronounced deceased in, in the front yard of the residence. The chief says a second person then fired on the officers from inside the home. Target down. Additional shots from inside the house. Video taken by a neighbor shows law enforcement, including SWAT teams, descending on the scene as residents looked on in shock. I heard like gunshots, and then that's when the police were telling everybody to like stay in their house. After a three-hour standoff, police cleared the home, finding a woman and a 17-year-old inside. They were both brought to the police station as persons of interest. Authorities say the other victims include a deputy with the U.S. Marshals and two members of the state's Department of Correction, identified overnight as Sam Peloche and Alden Elliott, both 14-year veterans of the department. We lost some heroes that are out to just simply trying to keep our community safe. Charlotte's mayor fighting back tears. And the most that I can ask of our community is that we honor and respect them. As far as what we know, guys, about the suspect, police say he had a high-powered rifle, but they have not specified what kind. President Biden wang in overnight saying we have to do more to protect our law enforcement community. And quote, leaders in Congress need to step up so that we ban assault weapons in high capacity magazines, require safe storage of guns and pass universal background checks and a national red flag law. Enough, he says, is enough. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.